Hey guys, it's Danny. Today I want to take care of my D12 shelf. Specifically, I want to change the grow lights. Now, what I have here are not necessarily grow lights. They're just some LED tubes and as you can see, they don't even fit properly here. And some of you might remember in an older video, I showed you that I managed to find 30 centimeters or one foot long Barina tubes, which the Barinas are the tubes that I usually use for growing my orchids. I really like them. So today I want to change this lighting situation here with the Barina tubes and finally optimize the D12 shelves, which were pretty underlit to be fully honest. And this whole diagonal situation is not ideal. I don't have equal amounts of light everywhere. Anyway, it did the trick for now, but it is time to upgrade. So before we start, don't forget to give this video a like if you end up enjoying it. Why not subscribe? It is free and I post multiple times a week. But if you're feeling extra, consider further supporting the channel by checking out the affiliate links below, maybe becoming a member, grabbing some merch or using the super thanks option down below my videos. Alrighty, let's just start, shall we? I'm going to remove the orchids that I have there, which were protected. I just received them actually a few months ago and I kept them there to protect them from pests, but I cannot say they had the greatest of lights. So we're just gonna start with removing them. They're gonna go back pretty much, but the light situation will be much better. I also kept in here some aquarium moss, just so I don't lose it until I have to use it, but it will be used in a nanoscape very, very soon. Also, here's a very interesting thing that I found at a local store. Let's call it a home improvement store, right? Look at that. I don't know what this is used for, but it's a little podium. And guess what it's perfect for? The D12 and the tiny orchids. Look at that. Now, believe it or not, I do actually have a plan for these lights. Even if they're not grow lights, they can still grow some plants, maybe not necessarily highlight orchids, but I do have some plants to try out with them. So hopefully soon, if the time permits, I will do a project with them as well. For now though, they are coming out of the detail. They don't even fit. Now, the way that I attach them to the glass is with acrylic double adhesive tape. It looks like a jelly. I'm gonna show you when I attach the barinas. I'm gonna use the same thing. It is so good for glass. Typically, the typical double adhesive tape, you know, the foam one, it doesn't really last due to the warmth and also the very, very glossy nature of glass. It sounded like I said the very glassy, no, glossy <laughs> nature of glass. And also they leave behind a lot of residue. These guys, not so much. It's just gummy. You just have to rub it a little bit with your finger and it gets removed. So now I have to remove all of this gummy double adhesive. And the way to do that is to just insert a sort of a wedge in between the glass and the LED panel. It can be a butter knife. This is what I have in the greenhouse. And there you go. And as you can see, you have a lot of gummy not residue, but the double adhesive itself, which if you insist a little bit like this, it just comes right off. You don't properly see what I'm doing because I have a camera <laughs> in my face, but you get the idea. You can absolutely remove this gummy residue like this. It's no big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of these LED tubes like so. Just dust off a little bit the shelves and we're gonna come back with the fun part with the barinas. Alrighty, so I marked my Barina tubes because still they're not marked with their <laughs> color temperature. One is yellow, one is pink. They're both supposed to be full spectrum. I don't know about that. Although these guys have a little bit more certification I see, which is great. Uh, but you know what I mean? The more types of light, the better in my opinion. Plus it just looks great. And if you know my older videos with the Barinas, you know that I like to make a mixture between the pink one and the yellow one. I'll link it down below to some videos if you missed them. And what I like to do is put the pink one towards the back and the yellow one towards the front. I find that this is most appealing to my eyes. I don't think there's any other reason for it. The plants will get the same light even if you switch the position, but my eyes feel better in this way. Right. One thing you should know is that all barinas have the same, let's say, jack at either side. So it's not like you start with one of the tubes and you end with the other, like other grow lights. No, you just place them and then you do the wiring after and it's really simple and flexible. So let's go ahead and glue them. I will use that acrylic double adhesive tape that I told you about. And what I'm gonna do is put the tape on all of my barinas just to have them all prepared. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick them. 
Okay, so there is a reason why I placed the double adhesive so far in. Let's say I didn't put it on the sides and that's because these stickers, they tend to just peel off in time, probably due to the warmth that these guys emit. They really don't get super, super hot, but they do get pretty warm. If you keep your hand on them for an extended period of time, you will definitely feel sore, but they're not very, very hot. You're not gonna burn your finger just because you touch them a little bit. But I think it's enough warmth to make these things peel. So I have two options. Either I peel these from the beginning, which I was tempted to do, but I'm too lazy, or I put the double adhesive somewhere in the middle of the tube. It doesn't matter, it's gonna stick, it's gonna stay. Really don't care if it's on the very edge of the tube or in the middle. So now comes the very annoying part of removing this red paper from the double adhesive. It is very gummy and I have a camera in between my eyes and what I'm doing, so it's all the more annoying and difficult, but I kinda wanna film just to see how annoying this is, but it's worth it. All right, so I got a little edge and then I'm gonna pull on it and there we have it. Ta-da! I'm gonna have to do that for all of the tubes. I'm gonna use a total of eight tubes on the D12. In the instructions here, it says that if we're dealing with a one foot uh, light, we need to not connect more than 16 lights in a row. So I will connect eight in a row on this D12. So we are in the specs. All right, so. All of the tubes have been glued, have been installed. It is now time to plug them in. And I'm actually going to start from there, from the bottom. I'm gonna feed the power cable through there, and then I'm gonna go and daisy chain all of them going up. So, as you can see, I already have a hole drilled in my detolf shelf, and that's especially made for the cables to pass. Should I start like so? Oh, not really. I'm probably just going to feed the cable from the outside, grab it from the inside, and ta-da! And from here on, it's just a matter of daisy chaining them. All right, so all of the light tubes are placed and they're working, except that, of course, I messed up the order on the first shelf. I'm gonna have to detach them, put them back. No big deal, but still some extra work. Also, I have to do something with the cables, a little cable management, but that's okay. What I usually do is make a sort of a little bow like this and then glue them as well with some double adhesive like this. And it looks a little bit more tidy. Right, so I'm gonna do the other one. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. At some point, I'm gonna show you some orchids inside the details and yeah, talk a little bit more about the Burinas. All right, so here is the entire Vistia shelf finished. This is the second day. I finished it yesterday, but uh, yeah, it looks really nice in the darkness of the morning. Now, I'm not yet very sure what I'm gonna put in here. What I wanna do is make it more of a display type of a shelf. Put my, I don't know, my best pieces. I don't have such things though. I don't, maybe I do. I need to find an orchid that I don't know, it's special in a way, I don't have expensive orchids. I cannot think of anything that is like, you know, the crown jewel of the collection because it's rare or expensive. I am not into that stuff. So <laughs> I want to display, I don't know, stuff that I find special, but I don't know, everything is special. I do like how the telumnias look and I do want to go and buy another one of these podiums because they look very nice and they display the telumnias very very nicely as you can see i was also thinking maybe here i can put some miniature terrariums or things of the sorts you know these enclosures that maybe i'm gonna um, decorate nicely with some mosses and stuff since they are pretty high moisture environments so yeah just a display shelf pretty much at the end of the day it is really really beautiful but I reached a point where I do actually have quite a lot of shelves. Wow, amazing. Well, I didn't really buy too many orchids lately. I really focused on something else. I think I'm pretty okay with the orchids that I have. I'm taking a break from buying because I kind of have to. And I'm also focusing a little more on the aquarium side of things on my second channel. But I want to do with the orchids that I have for now and find the space for them and display them nicely, which is something that I've started to 
look forward to. It's not all about jamming as many orchids as I can on the shelf, but actually displaying them nicely so that when they're in bloom, they have the space to show it. Does it make sense? So yeah, I'm kind of into that right now. I think I have enough orchids to sustain my channel and what I do and to keep me going with the tutorials. When I move out, maybe it will be a new incentive to get more orchids. For now though, I think my little grow space has reached is limits you know after six years i think um i think we're good <laughs> and of course with the possibilities that i have for now i think we're pretty okay we have enough for kids so i can afford the luxury of this space to be like a display have one orchid per shelf and when it's in bloom have this you know special occasion special place to display it anyway that's what's in my head right now in any case, the Barinas, they produce such a beautiful light that everything I display here looks absolutely fantastic. It's not that it creates a false impression of the colors or anything, it's just that, yeah, it, it does change them a little bit. It makes them pop a little bit more than they would in, I don't know, disc light. But then again, in the sun, they do tend to pop as much as under the Barinas as well. The problem is with the kitchen light. The kitchen light, even if it's yellow and nice, it has a tendency to wash off colors and, I don't know, just make orchids be washed off, doesn't it? And this type of light doesn't. To me, it's not unrealistic, although on camera, it's a little bit hard to find that perfect white balance because there's a difference between this and this and this and let's say this right there's a big difference so finding the perfect white balance is a little bit tricky but i think i found a way to show you what these lights look like realistically in my experience they grow orchids really really nicely but most importantly i like what i'm looking at which is the most important thing for me at the moment it's like with the aquariums i can buy the cheapest filter but i cannot buy kitchen lights for the light because it's what I'm looking at, it makes what I'm looking at. And this type of light just makes me like what I display here. So yeah, the Barinas are absolutely great for displaying showpieces if you have such things. I mean, not only orchids, I think these lights are perfect for displaying, I don't know, art or something. It's a very nice light, but it's also great at growing plants, so yay! It does two things at once. Righty, so that is about it for today's video. This has been the project for the weekend. I'm happy I kind of had time for it. And of course, you'll find links to Amazon down below. This is where I purchase Barinas because I have to import them and I don't know where else to import them. And it's the easiest thing, they deliver, Amazon delivers to my location because it's Amazon. So yeah, I pay double the price for them because of the import tax, but I believe it's worth it. And I do believe I have enough barinas at the moment. So yeah, links below to these lights. If you've used them, let us know what you think about them down below so that people can get more reviews, not just mine. It always helps out. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. Check out my second channel for aquarium content. It's getting better and better have you noticed but for orchid stuff subscribe to this channel and i'll see you all next time bye